Hey guys, Technomancer with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to turn on the lockdown mode on your iPhone and also explain to you what the lockdown mode does to your iPhone as a security measure. It's something you might want to consider. So let's dive right into it. So on the latest iOS version, if you go into your setting of your iPhone and then go to privacy and security and scroll all the way down here, you will see under security section, there's an option called lockdown mode. Now, if you click on it, by default, it's turned off. But uh, basically, what a lockdown mode is extreme optional protection that you should only use if you believe you're personally attacked by highly sophisticated cyber attack. Now, most people, again, don't need this, but for uh, protection mode, you can turn this on, which will limit your ability to do things on it. So if someone were to get access to your devices, they won't be able to do anything because again, apps and website and feature will be strictly limited when it's in this mode. So it's again, extreme mode that you want to do only if you know for sure that you're being personally attacked. And you, all you do is click on this and it tells you pretty much everything that happens from what you can do with the messaging, attachment being blocked, FaceTime being blocked, uh, web browsing being restricted or blocked, uh, photos, device connection, wireless connectivity, and you can kind of read through exactly the reason. And if you are okay with that, you will just simply click on turn on lockdown mode and it will be on lockdown mode. Of course, I don't need it here, so I'm not going to turn it on. But this is something you want to do on all of your devices as well. So if you have another Apple device, you also want to do the same thing like an iPad or MacBook, similar process. And that's what the lockdown mode will do. So and that's how you turn it on. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.